Okay, so let's take a look at how you can track the activity in a table using activity tracker template. So here we are not going to use any existing from marketplace. So instead we will create our own, right? So let's start from scratch, right? You can use any existing uh, setup that you have and use that. So I'm here going to modify the default that we get right so the first primary field i'm going to make it auto number so i'm going to use number and then make it auto number save and then we will just push in here the next thing would be to use date right here we would use friendly date include time make it 24 hour and create that field next thing we will use activity right and for activity we are going to use text field single line text create that field next thing we will also use duration right you can use the duration from this particular option so let's try to find that so if we have duration hours minutes so we can pick up to seconds so let's stick with hour and minute right let's create that field next i can also use let's see calories considering this is the tracker specific to sports fitness and health right so this should be a number right and then set it to decimal precision up to three points create field right then finally i can use note so note single line text create field so let's say it's second jan activity we have is let's say walk duration like let's say 30 minutes 0 30 right then calories burn say 200 and note mild walk activity same i can do for say another date jogging duration say 40 minutes calories say 350 burn then jogging activity right so these are some of the things you can do with this tracker now if you want to make a form view out of this so you can go to forms then activity tracker you can also rename your base with this make it editable for personal use let me edit the base name right and if you want you can even change the icon right so let's see something like this one right now we can go ahead and check the view for form count your calories right once saved we can open it in new tab to see how everything looks right so here you have activity tracker let's see i choose a direction and choose HIIT activity duration let's say 35 minutes use 0 then colon 35 and then come to calories say 300 burn and my HIIT activity right now submit and now let's take a look at how it appears in our grid view so we choose grid view and here we have our new activity tracking data right so these two fields that pretty much show your direction duration and calories right you can even create chart out of that regardless of other fields like activity and note you can use date duration calories make a chart out of that.
right so this is activity tracker created in airtable